Чувате ли ни? Вече ни виждате. Hello. Hi. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. I'm happy to, to see that there are again almost no seats available. So thank you for being here with us. Welcome to the sixth episode of the Pitch to Pitch Scale Up This Time competition. My name is Elena Peneva and I'm a module master at Bright Mojo, consulting IT companies for the past decade on how they should communicate better and have better branding. Yeah, not important right now because Elena is an incubator right now. As well, yes. Yes, yeah, she's working on her startup in her belly, so big applause it's a for her. scale-up, actually. Scale-up, oh, great, yeah. great. Big Thematic. applause, guys. <laughs> she's pregnant. So my name is Atanas Nechev. I'm a tech advisor. I'm hosting right now here with you. I'm organizing events around the world. I'm kind of an agent for startups and talents around the world as well. So I like to invite you to be here with us at the Pitch to Pitch Scale Up competition. Okay, now it's time of course to invite on stage our jury. So please welcome Viktor Manev from Impetus Capital. Woo! Borislav Borislav, former CEO at Desica Ventures and Bulgarian Angel Association. Jordan Zare from New Vision 3 and V3 Fund. Stoyan Nedin and Kamen Bankowski from Vitusha Venture Partners. And Christian Begajev, Senior Analyst at Capital Investment Fund. Amazing jury. Before we introduce you to our startups, let me explain again how you can participate in the voting. Are you already on the link? Everything working? Yes? Yes, okay. So, Thank you can actually grade not only the favorite startup, but also several different things about each startup. So be fair and also stay on the link and join the jury and win an award maybe, I don't know. If you want. Uh, also, it's a pleasure for me to, uh, to say that um, my microphone is, is it okay? Yeah, yeah it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so tonight we are not streaming live, but uh, thanks to Omai TV, our partner, we, are, we will actually have uh, this, what is happening here uh, recorded and you can watch it on the social media of Networking Premium. So big applause for Omai TV and follow them on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. And last but not least, we have a sponsor on tonight's event. It's a health in a box, AKA micro markets. Big applause for them as well. And now I think it's time for our first scale up. Yes. And they will join us at Zoom. It is Mark Schillinga, Panayotis Dermijan, and Nona Dramova from Paster. Hello. Paster. Paster. Okay, welcome. All right, guys. Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm CEO and co founder of two bootstrap companies, eCollect and Paster. eCollect is Europe's only outsourcing invoice to cash platform. With a fully digital approach, we cover the entire invoicing, dunning, and debt collection process in more than 50 countries on one platform for corporations and companies. However, our client pain points were the complicated payment system and payment pro providers across countries within the invoice to cash process. And this was the starting point for the foundation of Paster. We created Paster to streamline international payments on one infrastructure payment platform. The unified platform provides companies with access to over 200 payment methods worldwide, including cryptocurrencies. Paster Sol USP is its user-friendly API integration that allows for seamless integration of over payment for all payment providers all over the world, all manageable from a single dashboard and available in 12 languages in more than 50 countries. By offering invoice to cash and payment solution on one platform, we are finally closing the gap clients demand for. This international solution offers a tremendous competitive advantage for investors and clients. 
So be invited to join an 8 million revenue business this year. Thank you very much, guys, for hearing me. Yeah. And sorry, uh, I can't be there. I was there yesterday, but I had to go back um, due to an urgent uh, private matter. So enjoy, guys. Thank Next you. time we see Thank each you. other. Really yeah. looking forward. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, fully back here. And the next startup is, uh, I would like uh, for the pitch to welcome on stage, uh, Matthias Zeitler from Co-Living Semkovo. Hello, I'm Matthias. I'm pitching today Co-Living Semkovo. I believe the future of work is remote. And for the last few years, I've been building Bansko into one of the best spots for digital nomads in Europe. And I think now I'm ready for another ambitious project. I have found an amazing, iconic building from the communist era in Semkovo. It's big enough for 200 apartments and about 8,000 square meters of communal spaces, workspaces, event spaces. This will become a base for location-independent people and remote companies. It's far away from distractions, from traffic jams, or from pollution. So it's pure, unspoiled nature. The building is big enough to do company retreats, to do events where people can connect and where we can build an amazing community. The model that I'm pitching is um, more of a crowdfunding model. So we want to build this together with the owners of the apartments. They will also own a share in the co-op that is running the co-living business. It will only happen if we find enough buyers for all the apartments, and at the moment we have 68. So I'm here tonight to ask you for an impact investment. Buy an apartment and become part of our community. Let us show the world that Bulgaria could be a leader in the remote work future. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Matthias. So the next startup is Elitsis to Yuva Umni, the AI chatbot. Thank you. Good evening, everyone in the audience and <laughs> to the mentors. Businesses are paying 1.3 trillion dollars annually for chats and calls with customers. Customers expect them to be available 24 seven, yet companies cannot do that due to lack of employees and budget. And 80% of the communication anyway are repetitive tasks and um, questions. This is the fate of 310,000 uh, Bulgarian small and mid-sized businesses and millions in Europe and United States. Umni is helping these businesses Stay competitive by selling more, saving on time and resources, being available 24-7, therefore not missing on customers, and growing by implementing an AI chatbot as easy as playing with Lego. When, when other platforms are focusing on the needs of the corporates, developers, and messengers, we're helping these businesses to turn their website into a smart communication hub that is personalized to their needs. Last year, we saved 15,000 hours to our customers, and half of this time was at night. Currently, we're looking into 500, seeking for 500,000 euro in a split round to boost sales and marketing, and to develop further the AI chatbot in a super app for the business. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. We have two more scale-ups tonight, and the next one is Enrico Marino from Cycle, I would say, or maybe Circle, Circle. okay, but in a, in a special way written. Please welcome on stage. It's a shared micro-mobility. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. So, okay. Hi. I'm Enrico, and I'm co-founder of Circo. We are on a mission to make our cities more livable, one bicycle ride at a time. So let's be honest, uh, urban mobility could be a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, we have traffic, air and noise pollution. Uh, we have uh, limited parking spaces. So this is to name a few. 
Uh, our cure is in the form of a bike sharing service, providing convenient door-to-door -door mobility that also promotes a healthy lifestyle. With over 7,000 users of our mobile app in just 10 months, we saved over 10 tons of CO2, making a positive impact on our community and environment. With the micromobility time in Eastern Europe being worth $2.2 billion, we're pretty sure that we're onto something big. And with a 250K euro investment, we can bring our bike sharing service to the next level, adding electric bikes to our fleet and achieving break even in less than 12 months. So let's work together to make our cities a better place to live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Enrico. And now you know the drill. You need to vote at hanslides.com slash P2P vote. You know the drill. You should add the judges on LinkedIn, of course. You know the drill. You, you can follow me and, and Elena on Instagram. Mojo.master.elena. And Nas Nature, this is me. So big applause for the next startup, which is Ascend Level of Iris Biometrics. Hi, I'm Osen from Iris Biometrics. We're developing a biometric identification and access control solution by combining advanced hardware and software to help organizations reduce fraud, increase privacy, while saving on plastics, and at the same time, introducing more convenience and hygiene. Enterprise Biometrics generated $50 billion in revenue last year, primarily by banks, uh, healthcare companies, and industrial sector companies. And our company is similar to Alcatraz AI, who recently raised $25 million. And also Poundkey, who just generated $4 million last year in revenue. But except our technology is superior and costs less and is more secure. Currently, we're at a late prototype stage and we have a team of nine experts and we have the following traction. We have 18 pilot requests by clients such as banks, hospitals, office buildings, and industrial facilities. And we have formed preliminary partnerships with the leading system integrators in the region. We're looking for a 300,000 euro investment for product development, marketing, and of course, most importantly, to uh, provide our pipeline clients with the best technology possible. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's it, actually. This With was the, the last startup. So now I would like to invite you for a complimentary snack outside the doors. During the jury's discussion, which you can actually check out later on the social media of Networking Premium, thanks to Omai TV, who are going to shoot it. And for you. I uh, really apologize for earlier. You can follow us not only on Instagram, but on LinkedIn as well. Sorry. And on Facebook. Yeah, sometimes. So we start. And Violet, thank you for keeping the beer safe. 20, 20 minutes, guys. See you in 20 minutes. Ще бенефит на това е наградата също. Значи наградата е пакет от 10 000 лева, които могат да се използват в Coworking Space или като място за работа, или като общи зали. Отделно той някакъв менторинг и тютеринг им предоставя, но могат да бъдат две или три компании до 10 000 лева. Може да се разпределя. Трябва да взима десетей на три. До десет трябва да разделя. Не, не за десет. Общо максимум до десет. Целия награда. Целия награда. Разбием на три компании. Може на три, може на две, може на една. А може и да не е целия награда. Това са пейстър. 
Pay и не знам как се чета. Pay? Pay? Да. Pay? 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 Те са сервиси с компания с 50 човека. Те са човека и имат офис. Няма много нужда. Те инкорпорирани са в България или... Къде има централата? Централата май има в Швейцария. Да, но са и със сервиси с компания, не е стартъл. Аз тези не виждам как ще трябва. Аз мисля, че има какво да правят. Това е Те са компетитър също. Да, презентуално да. Трябва, ако си развият бизнеса, да го правят семкова, да си ползват собствения продукт. Една чувствените ти, това са съркъл, айс. Да. Омни, което е чатбот. Омни, чатбот, да. И айс, което е идентификашен. Омни най-вероятно ще могат да бенефитнат от услугите на... Арис има офис, by the way. Да. А Луми с какво ще бенефит? Те нямат ли си офис вече? Те ми ще си имат офис. Те ми ще имат закупени венти. От тебе по-лесно ще бенефит. Ако трябва да обсъдим кои биха бенефит, нали? Да. Ами честно казвам да се колебаем между Луми и между Съркъл. Сега защото той е пич... И аз хайдам, че те най-много ще бенефитнат. Според мен има нужда от менторинг. Той казва, как да го казва, хора се концентрират на това. Център има working spaces, co-working spaces. Кой това? Зелон. Не, не, Iris. Iris, да. Той той оперира, не знам дали той ще успее да бяде на co-working spaces. Аз мисля, че искам down to two. Аз мисля, че сърква. На мен сърква просто е много любими. Готини са, с готина цел, могат да се ползват с събитията. Тук най-малкото клиенти ще се намерят, тако не е друго. И умни също могат да ползват. А според вас може да цепнем на две или да... Да, да, може да е готина да има победите. На две може да се цепне. Защото е състезание да има по-равно. Може да не е по-равно. А иначе... Може да е по-малко, може да не е цялото. Също може да не е цялото. За пет към три или четири към три. Да, може да е различно. Съркъл, значи, според мен ще се нуждаят от това. Ще се нуждаят от това да се развиват те първа. Имат път и е много полезно. В смисъл, този град, този град, това е... И аз съм за Съркъл. Аз си плащат зимата, както той каза. Който ден не ме е кейс. Наши кейс, ама това ни е града. Може да ползвам, аз съм за Съркъл. Това не ми хрес само тъй към ниндал. Кое? Съркъл. Той каза, защото някой не знам кой го питам. 15... Примерно 12 от 20 въпроса на Камен е бил какъв ви е прайсинг. И той каза, прайсинг е такъв, че не избива и офсизън времето през зима. Според мен те в момента го... Това всичко се още се върши. Но дайте как се още понадлежат. Work in progress и продукционно. Това не е твърде инновативна компания, но... Не, да. Ако искате, т.е. да избереме някой, който между чиятбота и съркъл. Да, да бъдете като победител. Да, абсолютно. Аз бих заложил на съркъл, чиятбота е на Dead in the World, защото има много конкуренция. Използват чужда технология, пакетират за чиятбот, което много други компании правят и нямат много... Нямат много компетенции. Аз съм много конфидент, че Microsoft и Google всъщност им помагат с предбек и ОВР, не са по цялото нещо. Еми не, те няма как да не го спинат по този начин. Ако някой ги пита такъв въпрос, много ясно, че ще го спинеш, че всъщност не е полза. Тук тя според мен отговаряше много добро, че ви не? Тя ви не е доста обидна. Те бяха във връзките, бяха тя участвала. Да, не помня. Те бяха във връзките като цяло, тя е много... 5-3, за сърк за Circle Cycle Circle За Circle и 3 за тези И за... 10 и 10? Да, но... И 2 за Iris, ето казвам, какво ще има Да си сложат на сайта, че са спечели Да, да си да получат чек в снимката Ти нали не забравя, че се записва това нещо? В постпродукшн тези неща ще ги оправим Мога да го повторя. Виждай се, може да бърнем логото, обаче да бърнем логото. Да, да, трябва да се види. Тук ми направиха забележка, че не е Vesta, а не са Innovation. 5-3 плюс 2 са 10. Да, 5-3 плюс 2 са 10. Както и да го смяташ между другото, но сната си за 10. Дайте най-малко да смятам им, че не са. Добре. Съм сигурен. Иначе е добре да се каже, че ако трябва да гледаме от VC Perspective, нали да може да се инвеста в бизнеса си. Може би бихме ранкване по друг начин, но Angle е... Да, да, Angle е друг. Да, точно. Но това е това, за аудиторията и за... 
Не, той, той винаги го казва. И много винаги казва, че той ги дава по начин, по който смятам, че най-много може да помогне на тия компании. Ама да не ви да не го казва, че не се виси. Не, 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 че не съм. Но сега първата компания е много по-адванс, нали? Да. От всички. Така е да обият да може да се съксесва компания от тези пет. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If my TV is ready to start, so we are ready to start. Yes, and also, now is the time for one of the greatest awards, the award of the audience. So uh, let's see first who is the, uh, which is the startup who actually got your attention and you voted for them and you liked their pitch on, you know, everything about their pitch. So can we see the winner? So the winner is... Iris Biometrics, please welcome on stage. So congratulations that you won the winner of the audience, the shyest audience of the pitch, pitch ever. Yeah, but they can count, so... Yeah, they can count. <laughs> Please stay with us on the stage and congratulations once more. And now let's see the draw of the winner from the audience who will win the great award. Can we see it? Yeah, okay. the winner from you guys. Don't go out of the link because otherwise there will be only yes, they very few stay in competitors. The link. Yeah. <laughs> it's a secret. Calm down. So the winner is Christina Dimitrova. Who is she? Congratulations. Uh, Big applause. Yes, you can, uh, you can actually contact Networking Premium's uh, team and they will tell you how to get your award. Yeah, the, the fancy, colorful girl. Okay, now as usually, before we hear the, the judgment of the jury and the big uh, winners from the jury, we have our supporters and partners and sponsors who will give their special awards to um, a startup of their choosing, scale up this evening. So let me invite on stage first Mila Petrova, an angel investor and a startup consultant. Big applause for Mila Petrova. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Networking Premium, um, for the opportunity to be again on this stage and uh, for the nice, nice surprise of today's presentations of scale-ups. Um, you have uh, made it so interesting once again. And uh, I'm standing here, my name is Mila Petrova in the name of uh, Team Up. And uh, what we are doing is enabling uh, startups and their teams to achieve their dreams by consultancy solutions. And what I'm standing here to present is one of the awards which we're giving uh, on a monthly basis from the stage to, the, to one of the companies which, are, which is presenting. And today, um, our choice goes to Pacer. <laughs> Big applause to Paster. You can join the stage to receive your award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and here is the Okay, the next one is Alexander Vodimiro, former VC and now fundraising consultant. Thank you. 
so the prize, I'm also giving the same prize as Mila, a free consultation award, and it's going to Paster. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And the next one is Elena Peneva, module master at Bright Mojo. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Uh, as, as I said last time, my company is uh, turning one, so we are having a long birthday, so I'm giving also a strategic branding consultation to the startup that I think, or scale up, that I think uh, will benefit mostly from it, and I think that, this, uh, that tonight this is Iris Biometrics, actually. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can go out from the TV. Then, yeah, join us here on the stage. Thank you. Okay, so now I think it's time to review the big winners for tonight. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe five, I don't know. And please welcome on the stage Giuseppe from Networking Premium Co-working Spaces. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I want to spend a couple of minutes to thank the audience for being here supporting us uh, three years ago when we uh, were brainstorming on how we can contribute to the startup ecosystem and we came up with this uh, initiative. Little did we know that it will grow uh, to this point. It's been uh, a journey. Thank you for being here. We thank the judges for being so punctual, so on point with the questions. We want to thank uh, our amazing guests, Elena and Nasco, for being great guest uh, hosts, and, and, I, and guests as well. I want to thank also a couple of our friends, which are Andy and Aya Academy, is uh, a non-profit initiative. You will find their books at the door. You can buy and uh, it goes to charity to support uh, deaf communities. <laughs> Applause to, for them. We also want to thank our friend Kaloyan Kirillov for donating these books, uh, uh, Startup v Bulgaria. And they collect stories of failures and successes, which we can all learn from. Some of the uh, startups uh, pitched tonight are also included in this book. And uh, last but not least, I would like to thank our team, the Networking Premium team, who made this possible, and our founder, Emil Shekerjiski, which tonight is not here, but is extending uh, you uh, his greetings. So, Let's go for the awards. I would like to call on the stage uh, my colleague Lubo Georgiev with the awards. As usual, it wasn't very easy to uh, decide which startups uh, will get the award tonight. All of them have pitched great ideas and uh, we're sure that all of them uh, will reach will achieve the success they deserve. Uh, we want to remind you about what is the criteria we used and our judges used to decide who's the winner, which is uh, basically not a judgment on the quality of the startups uh, that has been on stage, but essentially we decided to give our awards to the startups which can benefit more and uh, the ones we can support uh, with our contribution. So, without further ado, Lubo, let's go for the for the awards with the second uh, startup, which is Umni. <laughs> Elisa Stoyalova on stage. We. Uh, especially happy and glad to have her. She's been uh, with us since the beginning of this initiative. 
pitching uh, the seeds when it was just an idea and now scaling up, so we're uh, super happy to give you this recognition. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be again here. Yes, I'm uh, with Pitch to Pitch from the beginning, winning one of the competitions, and I'm happy to be on the stage again here. Thank you. Congratulations on your award again. Congratulations. And the first award goes to Johnny Depp. No. <laughs> Circle. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. I'd like to call on the stage uh, all the participants, all the startuppers who had the bravery to come here and pitch their ideas, please. And the networking premium team. Uh, we also include in our uh, in our, yes, here is Setsi. While we are and Pancho, closing, let me remind you to follow yeah. Networking Premium on, on all social media. Also, this episode will be online thanks to MyTV. Thank you very much. Thank you for the sponsors, the partners, and everybody here. And what else should we say? Next one, the next Pitch to Pitch, is going to be on the 11th of March. So join us again. <laughs>